up, y'all? Lil got him this week with the kicking it. The shoe that song kicking it is the AC Duro Max. Um, how they feel on feet? They look comfortable. These are a tight foot. Okay, it's a tight fit. Um, I don't wear no twelve. These is eleven and a half, and I really could have twelve it. So either I'm still growing or these run tight. I'm loving the white on these, the the white on the sole, the uh blue, the like gel like blue going through the, going through the sole. These joints crazy. Um, now, you know it's little got em. I get what I want, and I be uh. You know, I just do what I gotta do to play away. AKA, I ain't come on no cheese for these. This tag say sixty dollars, cause I know finish line be trying to help communities. So, not only was they sixty, I got them online. These nuts had the nerd to have a fifty percent off sale. These suit, these shoes were thirty dollars, and when I say they getting played this spring, off a. Of, Fifty nine fifty, a uh, clean jean and a t shirt, Asics on this week's uh, on this edition of kicking it. Hey, all right, now we gonna talk about a little Instagram, mm. something everybody a little familiar with. True. Shoot, we we gonna talk about how Instagram compares to reality. So, how wrapped up do you think people get into social media? Like, are people too involved in it? Just so that they kind of disconnect from the real world, or is it just people just enjoying themselves on the ground and it's really not as deep as people make it think? What y'all thinking? Well, if you get too wrapped up in it and you start looking at other people's lives, then, you know, of course it could play with your emotions and you trying to base it off like where, why you not here in life and they there and you looking at it from the wrong angle instead of just fucking pictures and shit. You know, but a lot can be portrayed on Instagram. You know, how you feel about that, Lil? Man, the gram is real life. It's a bag on that gram. Do y'all know something called a story on there where you could basically play your commercials, your movie, your brand, whatever you want the people to see. They could check you out every day. And. The thing about Instagram now is it's so uh, habit forming that you know your people gonna watch. Yeah. I got a friend just went to the Grammys. I said, "How you do that?" She got a dance company. You feel me? Famous people come through and pick out who they want. No, nah, the whole gig was through the gram. What? Shout out Lana. Um, shout out Collective Studios out here in Collective? Oak Park. Man, that gram is a bag. You got to use it. Don't abuse it. Mm -hmm. Um, It's a lot to be said bad about it, but we make lemonade out of our lemons. We we taking the good out of everything. So, yeah, that gram is real life. Anytime you out of town off a DM. Yeah, yeah. Like, you really opened my eyes to some things with what you just said there. I ain't even kind of think of it like that. But uh, at the same token, I want to say that I don't like how the gram kind of takes away people's unbiased opinion sometimes. Like, I feel like people are kind of influenced by what they see getting a lot of likes, like, as opposed to saying, oh, I like this. They're like, oh, this guy likes, maybe uh, I like this too. It's like it kind of takes away from your uh, your personal, who you are as a person, your individuality. And that's what I dislike about it. But at the same token, I do like how, when like the right a person with actual talent kind of can see can kind of gauge how people are receiving their art, so that's why I like the ground to be used for. I like for it to I like that it's giving people leverage to get in the areas where they wouldn't per se be able to get into before because it'll be like gatekeepers. And I feel like social media did kind of help knock down some of those walls in one aspect. But it's like bro was saying also. Um, you just don't want to get too wrapped up in it because I see it all the time where people, where these girls look at these flat tummy tees and it's like they get caught up in just like 
the lies. There's a lot of lies on Instagram because it's just like it's just like television. Television, the lies that tells my vision. I remember my brother told older brother told me that a while ago. Mm. I feel like Instagram kind of amplifies that thought because it's just like it's just so much, and it's like you really don't know how these people are living. So it's just like you got to keep that in mind. I feel like a lot of people lose sight of that, and it's easy. It's easy to get caught up in just scrolling through your feed saying, "Oh, they just went there," but it's really just snapshots, like. Do you know how this whole trip went? You literally watched 30 seconds of this person's life, and now you're sitting, now you're feeling worse about yourself about that. So, like, I feel like it's it's it's, got, it's a balance. It's like it's good and it's bad. 50-50, exactly. It's just, like, just be mindful when you're using it. So. I, uh, uh, hold, oh, go ahead. I also feel like too much, like, social media, period, mm-hmm. is not good for the mental, you know what I'm saying? Because... You could lose a sense of fucking reality sometimes just Mm -hmm. living in this social media world. And, you know, is and once you get sucked up into that, it's real hard to pull out of that because you so engaged into that. And that's all you do. As soon as you wake up, you on Instagram. As soon as you go to sleep, Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like. You need to, ain't nothing wrong with taking a fast from all of it just to clear your thoughts in your mind, you know, because it could fucking cloud your shit up at certain times. Sorry, that's exactly what I was about to say. Like, if you get too deep in the Instagram, you will look up, boom, you got a new outfit every week just to post, just so you could. Feel good. Feel good, and the likes uh, are like dopamine throughout the body, and boom. Now you done face tatted. You done straight up face tatted yourself, and ain't nothing wrong with that. But you did it for the gram. If that was your reason for doing it, so it's not, that's like the butt jobs. Like, it become a thing over gramming, but Mm -hmm. teaches on... I go by Classic Sciency. Shout out Bianca Bad. I can't make this up podcast. Uh, I used to be yo. I was trying to be yo. Now all you do is wonder why they call it a bitch. Cause you used to be a goddess. But all you do is pull out your heart, losing soul in these bottles. Come on, let's have a glass. Get us some money, can't have you. Ask him for 40 pitch, really look home as hey, calling you that would be better than that. I mean, nigga, this so shit, the period, get fits. I mean, say to my dog, I don't call her a bitch. Guess my meanness is different. Supposed to move as a unit. Sounds bring home the bacon while you whipping eggs. Fast forward, now we whipping them last minute checks on them losing. You move for the purpose. Don't sell yourself short, they gon' pay you 